where it's like, oh my God, he's going to shoot. Even if he doesn't hit me, he's going to hit one of my kids. A mother and her children witnessed a brutal robbery and assault on a loved one. Now, thankfully, the grandfather who was targeted did survive. But as you can imagine, the entire family is still very fearful tonight. Our David McAnally on the one thing the man targeted wants others to do to protect themselves. His face was swollen, his nose. He's hurt him. Uh, two staples, you know. He was bleeding all over his face. But he's healing. I'm glad I had my father here, you know. Just before noon Sunday, Alfredo Seha stopped at this west side gas station at Rockville Road in I-465. He says when he left the pump and went inside to pay, he took out a large bill from his pocket and he thinks somebody inside saw him do that. The victim says they followed him home. When my dad was coming through the entrance, they cut him off. And when he parked his car, they opened the door. They grabbed for his cash. He said he got the yelling, screaming, help, help, help. He said that's when the other person ran back and pistol whipped his dad. I guess the guy was scared because my dad said that when the guy pointed him in the forehead, he was shaking. The victim's daughter and her kids saw it all happen. They had little Max here. They put him up and they just went to my dad. So when I saw that, I just started screaming. I'm like, my dad. Two gunmen grabbing her dad, a woman behind the wheel of a tan getaway Jeep. That's when I seen that he put the gun in my dad's forehead. When I seen that, I just stopped and I, I just went like this to my kids. I'm like, in my mind, I was like, oh my God, he's gonna, you know, pull it. She screamed. The men pointed their guns at her and her kids. Then they jumped in their Jeep and left. Well, was able to yeah, he said he praised the God. He's thankful for it. You know, he could have went sour. He could have went a whole different way. You know, I'm glad I have my father here. You know, the victim says, "Be aware of your surroundings. Keep an eye open for the people who may be keeping an eye on you." David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.